In this video, we'll be rebuilding a Dell Inspiron 3647 small form factor PC. This is how this PC looked about four months ago when we did another video where we tore it down to parts. This is what was left. Everything's there that we need to just rebuild. This is a Dell Inspiron 3647. It's a Pentium G2030, 3 gigahertz, with 8 gig of RAM. It has a 220 watt power supply, and optionally, it has a, a low end video card. Now we rebuild. So, well, the first thing we'll do is tighten up the main board so that everything is oriented to the main board and we want that in place first this is an example of all the screws left over that everything was been sitting in a closet for the last four months since we did the tear down first part that goes in will be the uh, Wi-Fi mini card a small black screw tightens that up Okay, and then I tighten up the power supply from the outside in the back. I just want to be clear and add here that I am not pretending to be an expert in PCs either rebuilding or tearing them down. In the links below, in case you do need some real advice, I'll give you some uh, links to channels that really are good at this and that I get a lot of my information from. Now I move on to the uh, drive cage. The drive cage has a hard disk. It's the 500 gigabyte hard disk and a DVD player. Okay, we're installing the, the hard disk underneath of the DVD. It's where it sits when it's installed. Right now it's upside down. Okay, it takes just four screws to tighten the hard disk into the drive cage before we uh, bring in the drive cage I wanted to connect the uh, power supply and the main board to get the main board power going there are two actually two connectors for the main board that I wanted to be sure we're in at this point Okay, here comes the drive cage, lining it up in front. Okay, this uh, this bracket, this brace that comes over uh, from the drive cage to the power supply, you can see right there, that is uh, used to really tighten up the whole inside. It tightens up the front. Uh, drive cage and it also helps tighten up the position of the power supply. Okay, there are the SATA cables for both the hard disk, that's the blue one, and the orange one is for the DVD. And now we're adding the uh, power connectors for each drive. Okay, now we're tightening up the drive cage from the front. just two screws for that okay now we're moving back to the uh, thermal solution and the CPU when we removed the thermal solution during the teardown video then we created a situation where we had to use, uh, we had to clean off all the old thermal solution from both the, the uh, heat sink and from the CPU case and uh, reestablish a good thermal connection. So that requires some Arctic Silver to both, well, first to clean the thermal solution. I cleaned both the thermal solution and the CPU lid. Now, first I hand clean. There's the CPU lid being hand cleaned. Okay, 
and I'll just show you the process on the CPU. Okay, we use uh, to continue the cleaning process. We use uh, thermal material remover, which does a good job of cleaning that surface off. If you use another brand, just follow the directions, and then you wipe it clean. Then the next step is to uh, to add a few drops of okay, what's this called? Arctic Silver is the brand name, and this is the thermal surface purifier. This sort of increases the surface area. We use this on both the CPU and the fan, and it increases the opportunity for uh, heat transfer between the two. It's a real necessary product there. As I said, doing the same thing for the surface of the uh, what we're calling a thermal solution that touches the CPU case. We're not adding thermal compound to this, but we can see we're going through the process. Took what appeared to be a clean surface and got some more grime out of there. Okay, and before we reinstall the thermal solution, we will replace the two memory modules, making 8 gigabytes of RAM. This process is much easier with the heat solution out, including the uh, fan shroud. So with all that yet to be installed, we'll do the uh, memory modules. And then there's all those white stat snaps need to be pushed in toward the memory modules to tighten all that up. Okay, we're ready for the next step. So while we're in the neighborhood, I decided we'll show you the bottom of the CPU. Get that back in there. Okay, we close down the cover and now it's ready to have the uh, thermal solution added. This is the Arctic Silver. The idea is to put about a one millimeter wide line across the area that has the two cores underneath. I don't do a good job here. Do not listen to what that should be a straight line across. This should be about half that thickness. So yeah, I messed that up. But it goes. The, the idea is that the line goes across the uh, and spans the two cores that are underneath that lid. Okay, now we got the um, thermal solution and we're going to remember to plug that into the main board connector. Have just a little bit too much Arctic Silver on there, but it'll still, it should still work. Okay, we're tightening the thermal solution onto the CPU lid four different screws on that remembering to plug in the thermal solutions fan the connector is near the power supply okay and then our optional video card goes in we have to remove the uh, three connector uh, back plate that it had when it was used in another PC. It won't fit, it's too tall for our small form factor. So we remove the uh, three connector back plate. Okay, now we're replacing it with a two connector back plate just like that and then the uh, VGA will sit an opening with its own back plate beside the video card and it's just so that's just a single connector back plate 
just for the VGA so you can maintain all the functions of your video card. So here it goes, it's sitting beside the video card that's installed now. Lift, okay, yeah, lift, and let's put it down, okay, it'll work. Here's tightening the back plates on the back of the PC. Okay, that part's done. We got it. The fan shroud goes on the fan, just like that. It's probably an important part of uh, airflow there inside your PC. We replace the lid. to the PC and then we make sure that it's nice and tight to reduce vibration and to help keep dust out. Okay. This is the back of the this is the back of the PC, the part that shows the video connections that we were working on. Three video connections from that card. Okay, here we are trying out the PC. I powered up. It took two minutes. I'm not going to show you the whole two minutes. I sped this up. This is all about 5x time just to show you that this, this PC did function it did come up to a desktop and it did work just fine first thing it did was a lot of Windows updates as you can imagine it was off for four months okay so I hope you enjoyed this video about rebuilding our small form factor PC